Hey guys, the hunter with Hawkeye here with another Let's Play video. I believe this is number six in the series. I wanted to thank the subscribers. I really do appreciate that. Um, channel's been up for just over a week, uh, well over a thousand views. We've got Ibex already. way down that way. So this hunt um, today they just released new Al uh, Alpine Ibex missions so this hunt is going to be all about completing as many of those missions as we can in one hunt. So let's take a look at the gear we're going to bring along. Of course this is always subject to change as we get into the hunt. Um, complete some missions and we find that uh, mission requirements may require us to grab some different different weapons. So we're bringing the 7 mag bullpup rifle. It's lightweight. Uh, I like it up here in the mountains. It allows you to carry a lot of other things with you. Uh, I'm bringing the 12 by 50 rifle scope on that. I like as much range as I can get on the Ibex and since the first mission is just to spot one, we want to be able to zoom in as much as we possibly can anyway. Bringing the Parker Python, uh, don't know if we'll need that or not, I hope that we do. And just in case there's any in-close work where I do want to use the bullpup, I'll throw on that aim point scope. Um, as you saw, I'm wearing uh, face paint, and I'll show you that a little closer here in a second. Uh, they do work against everything, so why not use it up here around the skittish uh, ibex? I've got my proper calls, although probably won't need any of those up here. Uh, I've got them just in case I head down to the river later. Um, always, always carry first aid up here. I don't want to have to fast travel down to a lodge, and I've got camping supplies in case I want to fast travel somewhere else. For camo, I've got the sneaky 3D summer set, with the exception of the cowboy hat. Um, we're going to use every advantage we can get against these guys, and combination of the cowboy hat and the uh, 3D face paint at least gives us something. There's a little closer look at that face paint for you. It's not too bad. Uh, we're more concerned about the functionality than the looks here, so. First things first, I'm going to head down uh, where I can spot that Ibex that we just heard, and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm hearing a ram now, about where that red dot is that I just placed on the hunter mate. So fairly close. Um, what I'm going to do is crawl over here to these rocks and hopefully be able to spot the ram. Um, I believe that the female that I heard earlier is with it, so there should be a couple of Ibex together here. Alright, looking for horns, looking for movement. They are very difficult to spot even where you, when you do know where they're at. might be down uh, beyond that other ridge there. So I'm going to crawl that way towards that big rock and uh, hopefully not spook him between here and there. Spotted movement down there. There's two good rams. Wow, I haven't seen two rams like that together that are that big before. I'll get out my spotting scope. Okay, I am going to pause it and check the next mission. 
All right, the next mission is to ID droppings of an Ibex. In the meantime, I'm trying to figure out which one of these two rams is the better one. It's uh, not going to be easy to take both. I don't really think I can tell. Um, I'm going to... Here we go. Let's let him get close. Oh, he faked me out. I'm going to crawl up to that rock. I have a third one now behind me. I doubt he's as big as these other two. I'm going to crawl over to that rock and uh, hopefully get a vantage point where I can maybe take a crack at both of them. Okay, so I've taken a couple of minutes here, uh, crawled up to this rock, probably about as good a vantage point as I'm going to get here. Uh, so I'm going to wait for a, a good opportunity and try and take both of these if I possibly can. <laughs> And off he goes. I just couldn't quite get him lined up. That's all right. Um, we've got a trophy down there. Well, might as well take this small one, huh? Okay, so we've got a trophy down there piled up. Um, we'll go take a look at him, and this other one will give me a, a goal to go after. Okay, here's ram number one. Two thirty-six, uh, worthy of a trophy shot. We've shot bigger, but that's definitely a nice ram. Okay, we'll go collect that smaller one I shot. Um, and then pursue the other trophy. Now, we know he's a, probably a 230-plus ram. Uh, could be bigger than that. We know he's nice anyway. You'll note that even though I just shot the uh, firearm a couple minutes ago, I am still crouched and working my way through here very slowly. Uh, it's in case they didn't go very far. Um, last thing I want to do is spook them uh, storming through the brush here when I could be just taking my time so we're not in a rush and uh, hopefully we'll find him and take a good shot hey and there's our droppings right here so that completes mission number two um, so I will flip over as soon as I collect this small ibex I'll flip over and uh, check the next mission Alright, so the next mission is actually to harvest an alpine ibex, and uh, I've got one down right here somewhere. Uh, it's just a matter of finding it, and that mission will be complete. How about right here in front of me? Little old 108 female. And that completes mission number three. And we'll flip over and check mission number four. All right, so the next mission is to harvest three female ibex uh, at 100% harvest value in the same hunt. So should be able to do that in this hunt. But priority one is finding this big ram that went across this cliff face earlier, and uh, hopefully being able to make a good clean shot on him. So. I'm going to work on that first, and, and then we'll work on uh, getting some females down. So I have managed to crawl up here and then and crouch up here and find uh, the tracks of the ram that I'm after. And 
here is roaming now. This is the first roaming track. It was fleeing tracks up until now. The reason I know that it is the same ram um, is because instead of showing me a male and a female there and a little uh, picture on the hunter mate, it shows me a male. Now, my hunting skill is not high enough to know that. The only reason that it tells me that is because I've already spotted it. And the only ram that I've spotted and not killed is the big one. So I do know that, uh, that I am on the right track. I'm going to crawl, take it slow and steady. Uh, hopefully make it up to the top of that ridge line right there in front of us and be able to spot a ways. Um, hopefully he's not moving so fast that I can't keep up. Um, we, we hope to be able to spot him from up there. We'll see what happens. All right, I've been crawling along here. Um, finally, finally heard this other ram. We haven't seen it yet, but I have heard it up there in front of us. He's going to be on that far cliff face. So. I'm going to keep working this way, um, hopefully get to the top of that ridge and be able to spot them. A lot of times I've noticed they'll go through this, uh, this brushy country pretty quick and then when they get to a nice cliff face, uh, a lot of times they'll uh, either just stop completely or really slow down. Um, so we're hoping that he hangs up there for a while and allows us a shot. So I can hear him. I've crawled up here to this rock on the ridge. Um, he's up there in front of me somewhere. Close to this sheer cliff here. Mark that and see how it lines up. He's a little bit right of that spot. heard him that's uh, the third time now so he isn't moving very quickly or moving at all uh, I'm gonna try to get a little closer I guess and hopefully catch some movement from him here well I know he's on this little pocket right up here uh, right where that snow is he's up there on top and on the back side he hasn't moved and he's been walking around up there, um, but I don't I don't know if that's a recoverable, recoverable spot or not. I know that I don't know how to get up there. Um, it may be possible, but I certainly don't know how. I have uh, climbing gear up there, but it, it'll get you to the back side of that, but I think you have the same problem up there where it's sheer cliff. Um, besides that I can't see him to make a, a shot anyway so I'm gonna hope that he keeps walking around up there and comes up to this side so that I can take a shot uh, otherwise I'm gonna be camped here for for a while so we're just crossing our fingers and hoping for the best now well there's a smaller ibex up there with them that's uh glitching through the top there. I got excited for a second when I saw one come over the ridge. We're still waiting on that big one to come up over the ridge over here. Uh, hoping he does anyway. That does give me hope though. just need the big boy to do the same thing he did and we'll be in business. And we've got a whole group scaling the mountain down the back side. Three, four. Let's see if I can get them spotted better with this scope. There's 
there's a female. This one's tiny. Another female. There's at least two with them. Big boys still right over there teasing me right out, right uh, just beyond reach. Just waiting on those big horns to break the skyline here. Well, it sounds like uh, maybe those two rams found each other and are fighting each other up there. That'd be nice to see with a ram that big. fighting each other again and had moved down a little bit and away from me and I, I do believe one of them is that uh, that big ram uh, although he's not the one that's giving me the sound those rams are really moving fast um, could also be some of that group we saw scale the mountain down here from this other direction so I'm still going to stay put a little while um, see if that other ram makes himself known if not I'll climb that climbing spot and see what I can find now, he's easing my way towards the climbing spot you can see one small ibex the female going up that way I believe we have a male here. Uh, another female. I am working my way to the climb spot uh, to get back there and hopefully spot this ram. We're hoping it's not over here. Alright, wish me luck. Wow, so that's a ram on top of me. Uh, certainly don't see it. It is not the big ram that I've been uh, pursuing here. But that rock slide was really, really close. There it is. It's a small ram. Um, heavy ram, 75 to 120. Uh-oh, look out, buddy. I guess he wanted to turn and make a uh, straight line towards that big ram and spook it. I hear warning, so uh, warning sounds going off. I'll let him bleed out and come back to him and uh, see if I can go spot this bigger one. Wow, there is fighting almost right on top of me, but I can't see it. I'm 
not sure if that big ram is still here. Um, I know that there's other, there's at least some other smaller ibex. Hopefully that wasn't them running off, but uh, as you can see, some of that area that I thought was unreachable is fairly easy to reach. So I'm going to crawl up here slowly, um, hopefully spot something. Definitely right on top of me. Well, that's no good. And there goes that. Listen to all the ibex. good news is the that was the big one that way it just slid rocks and, and maybe he didn't uh, spook with all that mess I don't know about you guys I've never heard so much chirping That might be him. I can't tell if those horns are that big one or not. Wouldn't that be nice? Hard to tell at this angle. Yeah, that does look good from here. I need him to turn. Now, that's a 160, 170 class, I think. This one right here is stuck. Appears to be stuck on a rock. And that one is not big enough, not what we want really. I'm gonna hang out. No observe him for a little bit until this guy gets close enough. I'll take him with a bow if he gets real close. So in the interest of getting this mission done, uh, let's go ahead and start taking some females if this one will stop here.
that spot on top of the ridge that shouldn't be too hard so uh, you can see where I took that shot from I'm way up on top of the mountain here um, about where that trophy ibex uh, got lost so I'm gonna go track the one down that I shot with a bow um, go collect that female and that other ram and, uh, and we'll try and knock down a couple other females in this hunt to finish that mission up. Well, good chance of a fight here. Yeah, here we go. Come on, guys. Nice. That was quite a delayed reaction on that second one. That was weird. I think one of those was my wounded ram. Uh, if not, there's a lot more ibex up here than I thought. I uh, just, at this point, just hope I can get down to them and then back up here. Uh-oh. I might roll all the way to them. And that's why I have a first aid kit. Problem now is going to be getting back up. I may have to fast travel and go all the way back to claim my other Ibex that I shot. That's all right, I've played this spot out. Okay, first one. 171, about what we thought. Second one will be tiny. 117, and I hear more Ibex chirping around. Uh, so I'm going to look around here. I've not ever been to this spot. So I'll look around before I fast travel to the tent. Well, I'm certainly glad I came up here and checked uh, before I fast travel because here is the ram that I shot with a bow. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to get to him. And just like I thought, he was between 160 and 170. So now I don't think I can get up um, from where I am now. I've tried here. Um, it's pretty rough terrain. I know I can go down, but that's going to cost me a med kit. I'm going to try and just scale this sheer cliff. Um, sometimes it works in a couple of places. Probably not going to work here. It's not going to work here, so I'm going to have to go uh, fast travel to the tent and then work my way back over here. I've got a female down there, I've got a male down over here. I'll collect those and hopefully shoot a couple more females uh, between here and there and be done with that mi mission and move on to the next one.
Just spotted movement over here in these bushes. Ah, uh, where'd it go? Right there. I think that's a good ram, guys. Maybe not. He may be, yeah, he's 161.70 range. I was hearing two more at the same spot where I started this hunt, where I, where I first saw the, uh, the two big ones. And one of them showed fully tracked and the other one didn't. And there's not a whole lot of, uh, rams that I've fully tracked besides that trophy one. So maybe we'll get lucky here. What do we have here? Get a closer look here. That's going to be one of them, but he's not big. So, um, there's going to be another one near him somewhere. We've got this one coming down the hill over here. Somewhere. They might lock horns. Um, and then there's another one. I'm going to stay put in glass for a minute before I decide which one to take. That's the third one there. Another one down here. Oh boy, he may be our big one. Uh, we'd like to see those antlers from the side, but they look uh, like they curve all the way back. I'm going to have to do it now. i got some coming up behind me. There's a small one. <laughs> We're just getting revenge on him now. All right. So I'm going to sprint down here to this big one, um, and we'll collect him. Uh, I guess we got a total of four down now, and I don't want to lose any of them. The crazy thing is, I think that this big one, I think it's the same one that I saw here at the very beginning of the hunt, which means that he went all the way up to that ridge you see there in the center of the screen. All the way to the top of that. I spooked him uh, when I got up there and there were way too many Ibex around. And then after I spooked him, uh, he must have circled around and came all the way back. Yeah, I would, I would imagine this is him. Two twenty-seven. Let's get a trophy shot of him. All right, here's the other one. One seventy-two. And 
I'm going to haul it over to the ridge and pick up the other ram and then the female. Okay, here's the ram I shot from up there. We were sitting right up in there somewhere. Seventy-three, and then we'll have that uh, female between here and there in the in the grass. So we'll go find her. Okay, here's our female. Uh, all we're looking for here is 100% harvest value, and did not get that. Um, right lung, left lung. 70 harvest value, okay. Um, well, that's interesting. I don't understand that. I would think a double lung shot that drops an animal should give you 100 harvest value. Um, I might need to read up on what that means. Okay guys, it looks like a good stopping point um, with that last ram uh, only having 70 harvest value and not counting towards the three um, at this late in the day, it doesn't make much sense to uh, to go after that now when I could start fresh, uh, which is what I'll do on that mission. I'll, I'll start a fresh mission and go after the three females. So to recap this one, um, we got a 237 ibex we got a 227 228 ibex so a couple of nice rams um, that we actually spotted right from the get-go uh, dropped the first one the second one ran off and I tracked it from way up there in that little saddle to all the way up there on that little peak and back and uh, ended up shooting it almost in the same spot where I originally saw it. Uh, we got some good fighting footage in this one. I, I fell and broke my leg uh, in this one, so uh, trying to get to the fighting ibex that, uh, that I shot. So what did we learn? Uh, well, let's try to recap with a couple of things that we learned in a hunt. Um, in this one, I, I think there's two things. One is um, to know your terrain. Um, and it's going to come with time. I don't know my terrain here all that well yet um, in, in some locations anyway. Uh, up there, I believe that I would have uh, climbed my spot and pursued that trophy ibex had I known how accessible that was. And I didn't know that at the time. Uh, by the time I did make the decision to get up there, uh, so many different ibex were there there were so many eyes and ears that it just became a mess I couldn't move without spooking anything um, even crawling there were ibex just crawling everywhere um, so I made the wrong call there had I known the terrain better I wouldn't have held up up here uh, glassing it so long I would have went up there and, and went after them the other thing we learned is it's possible to shoot an ibex in a uh, in a really perfectly fine location and for it to uh, if, if you don't drop it and if you wound it for it to go to, lo to a location and die uh, in a spot where you may have to consume a med kit uh, to actually harvest it which I don't I don't really care for that uh, I don't think that that should be the case but I'm not sure how else you'd control it uh, I guess the point there is just a concentrate and make better shots I made a, uh, a poor shot with the bow there so that's it for this hunt uh, again I appreciate it I appreciate you tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time